Okay, so hello again. So today we'll try to solve another less dependent IO uh, case. So this time, this is a web attack, password found. Requested URL, pass WD found, possible LFI attack. Right? So first, let's take ownership. Then we need to create a case. Okay, now we can now. Uh, okay, let's do a dual tab. Dual. Dual tab again, so we could see details. Dot issue right here. So notice here the requested URL uh, seems suspicious, hence the. Uh, the tagging a possible LFI attack. So now we can now start the playbook. Okay, here are some just some guidelines. Uh, how do we handle this alert? Okay, so the rule says here the rule name I usually created specifically to the attack. So it's very obvious here for this alert. So now we have to collect data. Actually, the data is in here already here so the source notice here the destination so source so this is an incoming traffic and then the host name of the internal asset is a web server so okay to collect more data let's filter for that machine so here's here is your web server uh, 64 bit as the domain primary user so it's a windows server okay so and the next thing is who owns the device so it's web admin 11 let's click next and then we are to examine the http traffic so here we can use the dialog management area of the of the let's defend platform so this is like the mini sim or mini log log collector so search there okay notice here this is the firewall traffic uh, the source uh, is inbound to the web server so when you click the raw notice here the requested url is the one the same with the alert okay it's trying to request C password and what's interesting here is that it's permitted but notice here the response size is zero and it's throwing out internal server error 500 okay so click next traffic malicious yes definitely since it's trying to request uh, the ATC passwd of the web server which we know contains the user and the hash of the Linux user, right? It's definitely, it's malicious. Then what's the attack type? So definitely, it's an LFI or RFI, which is local file inclusion. It's related to directory traversal attacks. Then we have to check if it is a planned test, of course. Uh, if it's a plan, and then this would be false positive, not really a malicious attack since it's being done by a red team. But if not, definitely this is a malicious. Okay, so to do that, uh, we could search the mailbox with the related artifact. It has a quick search here, and actually, there's really nothing related. No related email exchanges regarding the attack so this is not planned then the direction of the traffic we identified a while ago that this is uh, inbound turn it company network then check whether the attack was successful so if you recall the response size is zero and it, it throws a 500 uh, HTTP code which is internal server error so this is no 
the artifact here is okay that's the only artifact here write the address only the attacker id click next oh, definitely not we do not need to escalate to l2 because uh, yeah the web attack is not successful so no and we have here i have your prepared analysis notes so it's a web attack to the web server an lfi web attack to be precise but the attack was not successful so we click next and we're done okay then we have to give it a verdict we have to close the alert once we have done all of the investigation and mediation okay so again same analysis notes so this is indeed a true positive why because the attack is indeed malicious even though it was not successful okay so we can now close the alert and we have a 10% discount Okay, that's it.